Hello craft lovers, today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful gold geometric frame and floral wedding invitation card, RSVP and place card, and tell you more information on where I got the graphics and fonts that I use in this project. Plus, I'm going to announce an awesome deal for you guys, so please watch until the end of this video. We all know that making your own wedding invitation or doing it for someone else is very fulfilling and you can make the person you're giving it feel special and important to you. But somehow you need to check on fonts and designs that you're going to use, which sometimes will make you pay more because of the resource licenses than buying it from the printer shops. As a crafter and a web designer, I am very grateful to discover this awesome company as they have tons of graphics, fonts, and crafts that you can use. Before we begin making this wedding invitation, let me introduce to you Creative Fabrica and let's download the resources we need. Creative Fabrica provides exceptional resources that can improve your creativity and productivity and they are also adding new content every single day. You can use all their stocks without any modification and limit for your physical and products. However, if you're planning to sell digital products, then modification is needed. For more information about their licenses, please check the link in the description below. Let's start making our project by going to Creative Fabrica's website. Open your web browser and type creativefabrica.com. So this is Creative Fabrica's lovely website. As you can see, it is very user-friendly, where you can easily choose whether you're looking for font, craft resources, and graphics. What makes this company different from the others is that they give free font, free craft, and free graphic every single day, which comes with a commercial license. And all you have to do is create your account with them. But make sure to grab their freebies as they are only available for 24 hours, which they launch at midnight Central Standard Time. So let's take a quick look for the fonts here. Today, I'm going to choose Script and Handwritten. I'm a fan of scripts and they are very popular for wedding invitations. I like this one so I will just click the download button and make sure you're signed in after downloading the font you need to unzip the file and install it in your system there are many font formats but in the creative fabrica's ultimate font guide it says it is better to use OTF which stands for open type font but if OTF is not available the second choice will be TTF or True Type Font. To know more about fonts, I will put the link at the description below and check their font guide. I also want to use a sans serif font so I can use that to put more information about the wedding. And when you pick one, it will show a variety of examples on how you can use them which makes you visualize the look of your design before you download it. However, they have a tool called FunCloud, which is a free online font manager that offers an easy overview and preview of fonts where Brightsobe can use to test out which font they want to use. Like what we did with the scripts, just download, unzip, and install the font. Let's now check their graphics. And I'm visualizing a watercolor floral wedding invitation with a cold frame and a light marble background. This is perfect. So we will pick this one and see how it looks like in different designs. So same as the font, I will download and unzip it. Now 
Next will be the marble graphics. I will just use their search field here and type marble. Just like what we did with the first graphic, download and unzip it. Each file is separated in a different folder so that we can easily find what we're looking for. Now that we have the fonts and graphics that we're going to use, let's start designing it in Adobe Illustrator. It is very important that you have an editing tool or software to do this project, such as Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. Let's make a new project by clicking File, type the name of your project, Choose print as your profile, one for the number of artboards, and choose inches as your unit. Put 5 for the width and 7 for the height. Make sure to put bleeding at least 0.125 in each side. Click Advance and make sure that the color mode is in CMYK for printing. Choose High PPI for the raster effects and then click OK. This is our blank artboard. The red line is the bleeding that we assigned which means that any design outside of that will not be printed. To use the resources that I downloaded, I'll just click on File, Open, download folder and then find the folder for the frame to start with there are many choices for this frame but i want the frame without any background to resize it simultaneously press alt plus shift on your keyboard and click and hold the left button on your mouse to drag the frame. Let's do the same for the watercolor florals. In this case, I resize a frame in its file, and I want to transfer it in the file that I made. To copy it, click on the frame and press Ctrl-C on your keyboard. Now, let's go to our file and press Ctrl-V to paste it. If it needs resizing, just do the same thing. Simultaneously, press Alt-Shift on your keyboard and click and hold the left button on your mouse to drag the frame. If you notice, at the right bottom of Illustrator, there is called Layer, where you can rearrange your elements on top of each other. I like to put each element in different layers, because it will be simple to edit a particular design without affecting the others. You can rotate the images by using Selection Tool. Click the flower or frame and you will see that at the corner, it will show a rotating arrow. So I will choose another flower arrangement from the floral pack and do the same thing. Copy, paste, and scale. Once I'm happy on my floral and frame, it is time to put the marble background. I will just do the same thing. Open the file in Illustrator, 
control c for copy go back to your project make a new layer control v to paste it you can adjust the visibility of the marble background through opacity which you can find at the center top of illustrator here i'm just going to scale the marble and see which part i am going to use do not panic if the marble is huge because we are not going to print the part outside our bleeding. Or to make it nicer, as we edit it, we are going to use Clip Mask. Just create a shape using the rectangle tool with the same size as our artboard. Click on the selection tool and align the shape with the artboard. To mask, go to Layers, Look for the layer where you can find the marble image and the shape we made. Simultaneously select path and the marble image by holding shift and the left button of your mouse. Then right click and choose make clipping mask. I am now going to put the details by using the type tool. But before that, I will organize my layers and make a new layer for the details. I will now use the fonts that we downloaded, script hello for our name and the sans serif mencionari for the details. I decided to put my name and my husband's name. Let's copy the format and font of the first name by using the selection tool. Select the name, press Alt on your keyboard while holding the left button on your mouse and drag. So as you can see, I'm trying to mix and match the font. There will be times that you need to change the position of the design and fonts to match your taste. I will do a fast forward to show you how I come up with the invitation. I know what you're thinking, why the year is in 2013 when it is actually 2020. Please excuse the date because I want to put the real date of our wedding. Okay, so I'm happy with my simple invitation. Now let's check how it looks like on screen. Go to File, Export, choose JPEG and make sure to use Artboard. Save the file in RGB to see the final look on screen before printing it. So there we go. We can use this image if we want to post or send a digital copy. Now let's start printing. To print, Go to File, Print, go to Marks and Bleed, and check Trim Marks, then Print. We're done with the invitation. Let's start making the RSVB and Place Card. Now that you know the basic and shortcuts in Illustrator, I will just fast forward and show you how I made the RSVP and Place Card. For the RSVP size, I put 5.5 inches for the width and 4.25 for the height. Do not forget to make the color mode CMYK and high raster effect for better printing result. I'm going to use the design in the invitation card. To do that, I will go to the invitation card tab, select the layers of the florals, frames, and marbles by pressing down shift and left button of your mouse. Ctrl-C to copy and Ctrl-V to paste in my RSVP artboard. I will just drag, rotate, and scale the design to fit my taste. This time, I will show you how it looks like if we don't use the clipping mask. Just like the invitation card, the RSVP also have bleed. 
if we have bleed, Illustrator will know what part will be printed as long as we check Use Artboard. I use the Line Segment tool to make a line. You can adjust the thickness of the line in Stroke which is located at the top. You can also adjust the spacing in character. Just play around and you will see the different function in character. I aligned my text in left so it looks neat and copied the line and resized it. We are done with the RSVP. I will show you how it looks like on screen and how to print it. We are now going to make the place card. For the place card size, I put 3.5 inches for the width and 2 inches for the height. I will just do the same thing with the RSVP card. And there you have it! As promised, Creative Fabrica has put together an awesome deal just for you guys. They are giving out a 30% off recurring discount on any of their subscription plans. All you need to do is to choose a subscription plan and simply add the coupon code CRAFTWITHLOVE30 to the cart and click apply. This will give you 30% off the regular price each month for as long as you are a member of Creative Fabrica. This coupon code gives me a little bit of money every time someone puts it in which helps me make these tutorials. Check out the link in the description below and use the coupon code that I've included in the description as well. And you will be able to get the discount. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check them out and browse around. Take a look at their beautiful font awesome graphics and crafts and take advantage of the discount on the subscription that they are giving away. I would like to congratulate and thank you for sticking with me until the end of this video. I know it looks complicated but once you're used to it, it will be so much easier. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and might as well the bell button for more upcoming videos. Until then!